Why hello, my name is Dominique. Thank you for clicking on my video. Today, if you will notice by the title, this is an update for the Project Level Up, which is a project created by Soph Alexandra here on YouTube. And if you don't know anything about this um, challenge, essentially it's like a game. You start at level one. At level one, you roll on your palette and you hit pan on one um, shadow and you use each shadow at least once and then level two three four and five um some people are going beyond five which is crazy but people are doing that which is exciting if you um just just quick disclaimer if you do hear any kind of commotion we are getting our um roof re-shingled so there's like a work crew here but my son's asleep so i have time now to go ahead and film this update um and since he's here sleeping, if you hear any little snores, like literally on the couch right over here, he's taking a nap. Anyways, so if you are following me, then you will know that I am working on two levels at a time. So I'm currently working on my level five from my very first go round, and then I started over again and um, went through level one already and I started working on level two. So I have level five and level two with me today. Um, and just a spoiler, five is staying. Five, level five is hard. Like, kudos to you guys who are going beyond five because five is hard. Let me go ahead and get level five um, updated and then we'll, we'll do the fun stuff. So this is my level five palette. This is the Alamar Cosmetics Reina del Caribe palette. And I already had pan on this one, Guantanamera already had pan from a previous um, pan those eyeshadows years ago. I hit pan in Cafecito. I hit pan in La Costa. And I don't know if you can see it. There's a baby pan. You can kind of see it right there. It's kind of hard because the, the shade is so similar. But there is a baby pan there in El Malecón. And I'm still working on these two. So these two are my other two focuses for my five pans total. So one, two, three, and then four and five. I have used Varadero 20 times and I've used Celia six times. So hopefully soon, but I know oh, you can see the pan right there. You see it? Oh, it's a little glimmer of pan. Hopefully soon, but I don't know. It took me 22 uses to hit sh um, pan in malecon and I'm at 20 for this one but it took me 32 to hit pan in la costa so and it took me 44 to hit pan in cafecito so I don't know maybe another month maybe two months I don't know so for my level two palette I did roll on this wander beauty um it's a little face palette it's really nice like really really nice and you can see, maybe, I do have a pan in this one right here in Yacht. There is a pan there. And I was going to work on also trying to get a pan in Bungalow. But there's, on the, on the lid, they're so similar. Like, I was ready for a break. And then I got a, a really good, um, some good advice from, her name is, Wonder in Alleyland. I always say it backwards. It's Wonder in Alleyland. She suggests that I should try to hit pan on one of the face shades. And so I was like, I loved all these shades. These, this face palette, like the face part of it was great. The bronzer is excellent. The blush is beautiful. And this highlighter I really enjoyed too. So you can see I did hit pan in the highlighter. So I know that doesn't really, it's not really too eyeshadows but it's two pans in a palette so I'm gonna count it and if I'm cheating so please let me know but anyway so I did hit pan there you can see it but because I got the suggestion from Allie I, like I was already a week into the product I didn't I didn't mark how many times it took me to hit the pan on this but I will tell you that I used it every single day um, on my face and as an inner corner. So today I actually hit pan on it and I did use it as my inner corner and I use it on my face and um, hit pan on it today. So I did use, I used Yacht I believe nine times. Let me double check. 
Yes. So Yacht I used nine times and that does include, I had two like touch up days. Like when I went from like did something in the morning and then I did something in the afternoon. So I like just touched it up. So it's probably closer to like 11 or 12 to be like totally, totally honest. But so 11 or 12 ish. And then I don't know, every day while this palette was rolled in and I rolled it in on January 30th. Oh, so like every day for a month. That's pretty good. So every day for a month that I wore makeup. So probably at least I'm rambling at this point, probably at least like 20 ish to like 25 ish. I usually wear makeup between like five and six times a week, depending on how crazy my week is. And let me tell you, weeks have been crazy around here lately. Um, but yeah, so yep, I hit pan in city lights and I hit pan in yacht and this will be my palette that I'm rolling out and I'll be replacing level one with level three. I'm so excited. So again, if you're new here, I do have a list of all my eyeshadows um, in my collect collection. I have 118 total and I allow any palette to be in my project level up. In my pan those eyeshadows, I'm strictly focusing on palettes that don't yet have a pan. So eventually, one day, if I quit bringing in new palettes, I'll have at least a pan in every single palette in my collection. So I'm going to go ahead and ask Alexa to randomly pick a number between 1 and 18. The Alexa in the living room, my son unplugged, so I'm going to like kind of yell to the Alexa in the kitchen. Hopefully that's not too annoying. You probably won't be able to hear it, but hopefully I'll be able to hear it. So let's go. Alexa, random number between 1 and 118. It's 8. Oh, okay, 97. The Alexa in the bedroom said 8, and the Alexa in the kitchen said 97. So let's look at both of those. Oh. So 97, which is what the Alexa in the kitchen said, is my Rugrats palette, which would be honestly really, really easy to do. And the number 8 palette, which is what the bedroom one said, was the is the ColourPop Element of Surprise palette. So, again, I might be cheating, so I apologize. We're going to go with what the kitchen said, which is the um, Rugrats Angelica palette. And that's another palette that I don't have pan in yet. I've pulled it in before for um, my Panners Bingo as like my nostalgic, no, movie reference, something. I pulled it in in that challenge um, as like a no pan left behind um palette and I really like it there's actually a shade in there that's really nice for um a blush let me go get it I'll be right back okay I'm back so this is my little Angelica palette it's really really cute it's a little six pan palette so I'll hit pan on three of the shades this is the one that I said was a really good blush it's called bold so maybe I'll use that as a blush because I don't have any blushes in my projects right now this is a really nice inner highlight. That'll be easy. And then, yeah, we'll just see. We'll just see where it goes. So I'm super excited. Angelica's staying. Alamar is staying. And we're going to roll out this cute little... This was really nice. Like, I don't know why I overlooked it for so long. Probably because Wander Beauty was on, like, every subscription box for, like, a hot minute. But this is so nice. Anyways. So this is it. Level 5, level 3, I will see you probably another, like, I don't know, month or so. Um, we'll see. We'll see how much I can incorporate of that Angelica palette into my eyeshadow looks. I have a lot of, like, um, cool-toned, like, obviously I'm wearing blue and, like, teal today. I have a lot of cool-toned um, shadows that I'm trying to hit pan on. But we'll see how it goes. Um, if you're doing this, I wish you luck. If you are going above level five like wonder and alley land is she's trying to go to level 10 girl anyways um good luck good luck to me um i'll see you shortly and thank you so much i appreciate you oh and if you do like me like panning content um i have a very busy week this week but i'm hoping thursday since it's the only night that we don't have any like sports or things going on in our lives. I'm hoping to finally um, 
fill my winter empties. So that'll be a nice one. But anyways, um, I'll see you then. I appreciate you. Adios.